Oh, right now, I think it's a really amazingly flourishing moment for my medium. A lot is really happening. There's no obvious uh, career path where you can come in, like punch a time clock, and say, "I'm making, I'm making the comic books now." Uh, that's meaningful. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the audience has opened up enough to be willing to accept anything. Um, worthy without the pejoratives that were there all over the place when uh, we were doing Raw Magazine, when I was doing Mouse. Uh, and that means that things can find their way through into the culture, but there's no clear path to do it. It has to be more of a calling than a career. You know, Mouse was 300 pages not because it was uh, padded, it's because it was compressed. If I drew more fluidly and wanted to get paid by the page or something, I suppose it could have been a 2,000-page graphic novel. Uh, but most of the ideas left in my brain can be expressed either in one panel, five pages, 15 pages, or 20 pages. But I don't really need the 300 unless I really want to uh, pretend it's moving. And I really like the language that comics offers that lets one get things down to uh, 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 a form that allows one to somehow get the overview of what the thing is, both as a reader and the maker, uh, and then uh, let it expand inside one's brain. Like prior to Mouse, I think that the longest thing I'd ever done might have been 15 or 20 pages, even though I'd been making comics for decades. I always thought of comics as ephemeral, but nothing like uh, showbiz. Uh, and uh, that's part of uh, what's kind of amazing about comics, is that uh, they can be made by one person, even if they can be, one can choose to make them with a team, uh, and uh, express oneself fairly fully in, in, in that range between words and pictures, and, um, and uh, manifest it rather efficiently. It seems to me that even more in our new uh, uh, digital video moment, uh, negotiating pictures as meaning is at least as important as alphabet signs and comics because they mercifully don't move allow you to study and figure it out. You know, I, I believe that certain comics, if you're just left with them uh, as a kind of wolf child that had never been civilized, you could sort of end up figuring them out. You know, you could understand what is happening a little bit from the pictograms. I'm very attached to paper, even though I make more and more of the finished results uh, relying on the computer as a crutch. Uh, but I keep finding the loopholes in the contract that will allow me to keep making things on paper because I, I suppose, only because I'm used to it, but I don't think I would have become a cartoonist in the 21st century. Uh, I don't know that it would have had the lure that it, it did in the mid-20th when they uh, kind of captured brain and heart uh, for me. And comics are doing very well these days among the last standing books because they tend to take advantage of their objectness in a way that uh, your textbooks here at Dartmouth and uh, even the novels you're reading don't necessarily. They can be read on an iPad fine, but uh, when one is making a book that has to be 11 by 14 inches, you'd have to buy a special iPad for the occasion or uh, um, read it smaller. You know, it's not going to translate well to uh, electronic technology. The thrill of it has to do with it, uh, its total um, ephemeral nature. It's gone while it's being made, just like us.